Hi, this is Miss Cindy, and I'm back again with a short video on Do Your Own uh, Wood Project. Uh, I Right before Christmas, I went to uh, Tuesday morning, and they had a big sale on some of their kids' toys and woodcraft projects. So I had the girls with me, so they each picked out a jewelry box, and that's what we're going to tackle. We're going to go ahead and, and paint those together. Then I went to Michael's, and I saw something that I figured there would be a nice project for me, and they were wood uh, tissue box covers. So I picked a couple of those up, and one I'm going to paint, one I'm going to try with fabric. Uh, we're just going to paint and have a good time. Uh, these are very inexpensive uh, kits that you can get. Uh, most of them come with the paint. If not, I'm pretty sure you have paint around the house. So it doesn't take a lot, you know, to keep these girls busy. It's because they want to do arts and crafts. So I try to find stuff that's inexpensive. Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and Joann's are the three stores that I go to. Uh, you always get coupons, so these are not, they, they don't cost a lot. It just takes time to sit down with the kids and do something together that they have fun. And my girls always get excited when they complete a project and it looks so pretty. So that's all we're going to do in this video is just uh, some wood projects that you can do with the kids. Okay, so here are the, the two larger jewelry boxes where the girls have started. You know, they've painted the inside. I told them to start on the inside because that was harder to do. And they're pretty cool. You know, they got the closing top and they got a lot of um, costume jewelry that they can put in here at night. We couldn't get this all done in one sitting, so they'll be back to finish it up. And then the youngest one, uh, these this one is pretty cool. This one has a lot of etching on it, a floral etching. I thought this one was pretty cool. So I picked up one for her and I picked up one for me. Well, I couldn't wait for her to get here. So I went ahead and did my own and it came out pretty good. It was pretty easy. It gave me something to do. It was pretty relaxing. Uh, I did actually did something different uh, painting with this than I've ever done before. And I pulled out all my metallic paints and painted everything with metallic colors. So uh, it came out pretty good. Even that bronze... Uh, paint actually looks like the wood and then I went ahead and I took a piece of felt and cut it in the bottom so I can actually use this as a jewelry box also the other thing I got today from Michaels were these two tissue boxes um the kids run through tissues like crazy here so I'm always had the little boxes around the house but I thought it would be cool if I go ahead and maybe paint one and decorate one once again, to try to match the decor in the house or the colors that I have in the living room uh, for these boxes. The only thing you have to be careful when you get these boxes, if you get this particular one, is the bottom was actually sealed. And I didn't realize that when I got it because it didn't look like it was sealed when it was online. So I came home and I had to break that seal off. It broke really easy. I pulled it out. Um, so now it's ready to go and I can just go ahead and put the tissue box in there when I'm finished. So once again, this is just a small video to show you the different wood crafts that you can do uh, with your kids. They have all sorts of wood crafts. You got a big variety at Michael's. So if you get a chance, uh, go on out, get some little inexpensive crafts, and I will show you what these look like when they're done. Okay, so I finally decided how I'm going to decorate the tissue box covers. On the right-hand side is my bathroom rug, which has the stripes. In the different shades of brown. I think I'm going to paint one uh, to match that so it can sit up on the counter. And then on the left is a Egyptian print that I have, fabric. And I think I'm going to mod podge that one on the other one. So as I get started, I'll let you see my progress. So I was getting ready to uh, paint the stripes on this tissue box. And I used my blue painter's tape just to get it so the lines would be nice and straight because all I'm doing is. Uh, uh, stripes and maybe four different colors and then it dawned on me I would like it to have maybe a little texture something different so I got out my extra uh, coarse pumice gel and I use this on canvas just to give um, it's just like another medium that you use to give it some 3d effect and I went around the top stripe on this tissue box and I went ahead and put this on now this is gonna have to dry overnight so it's nice and dry and then I'll go ahead and paint it but I just wanted to see how it would come out with something other than just the flat stripes. So we'll see how this is going to come out. 
Okay, so here's the tissue box cover. That's done. That came out pretty good. It looks cute on the counter. Okay, well, the tissue boxes are finished. On the left is the Mod Podge uh, using Egyptian fabric. Um, and on the right are my stripes to match the bathroom rug. That one came out pretty good, and it looks really nice on the counter. The Egyptian one, it came out okay, but I'm going to have to practice that because that was kind of hard, getting that lined up and making those turns and then um, trimming the top. So that's something I'm going to have to practice. But for the first time out, they came out pretty cool. cool. So now we're going to go get back with the girls and let's see, let's see how they finish up their jewelry boxes. Well, you're not going to get a chance to see the girls' finished jewelry boxes. Uh, they finished them up, and I wasn't ready to videotape it, and they took them home, and they were, weren't even dry. So I still continued doing uh, tissue boxes and jewelry boxes, and I actually found that I had uh, folks that know my work. I usually do custom work whenever I do crafts. Um, I, I like to do theme work to make sure the recipient that gets it uh, knows it was made especially for them. So I got some uh, orders to actually do tissue boxes and do jewelry boxes in themes um, that folks wanted for their home or as a gift. So I'm just going to show you a couple of pictures of some of the stuff that I've done and sold. And everybody was happy with it. So have a great day.